new phone who this first video filming on my new iphone 11 crisp do y'all see this quality like my iphone 10 filmed good but i could see I, I could see the difference and i literally haven't changed anything but got a new phone so this is 503 four walls and a roof um i'm using my tripod by my first ever tripod for my uh phone i've never had a tripod for my phone and i've been doing youtube almost three years because i had did another channel before i did this one but i got a fucking joby but i got a little mini one you know the joby with the bendy legs i'm literally a fucking youtuber y'all step my game up it's gonna be so easy to film now i don't gotta run around the house and find random shit to prop the phone up on um i mean that's really it with the updates but yes we love this quality i'll do i still go live every sunday night so make sure y'all tune in watch my favorite show and i'm gonna be eating while i'm doing this so if you don't like chewing fuck off oh lord have mercy oh that is not what i need to see while i'm eating ain't they at that school it's probably pretty stupid to be here I used to say that every day above ground was a win. Doesn't really apply anymore, but you can still get some perspective. Y'all, I've been vegan almost five years, and I literally only know one vegan. So, like, being around people and, like, people that eat meat don't bother me. I still cook all different kind of foods for people when they ask me. But this is fucking trifling. Watching them eat Bob's foot in front of him while I'm trying to eat is so fucking trifling. And them showing the meat shred. Oh my goodness, this is so fucking trifling. You know, we marked our way here so that we can find our way back after. Back to what? So stupid, right? I mean, back to what? It wasn't just a trap, it was gonna be a choice. You join us. Us. We weren't gonna join you. Y'all was gonna die anyway. Bears. <clears throat> when they start to starve, they eat their young. If the bear dies, the cub dies anyway. But if the bear lives, you can always have another cub. Why do humans compare themselves to animals that they are not? Do you look like a fucking bear? You're not a bear. People forever comparing themselves to lions, tigers, and fucking bears. Bitch, you're not eat none of those. You're not any of those. That was part of the pitch. You know, Greg and Mike came this close to nabbing that gray-haired queen bitch who killed my mom. Don't call Carol that. Can't wait to try her. I like women better. Most of us do. My brother Alex has also currently dead because of Rick. Because of y'all. He had a theory that it was because of the extra layer of fat that women have, you know, for childbearing. Even the skinny girls have it. Like that pretty one. Sasha? I think pretty people taste better, too. That is so wrong. Ew. I just want to get to the part where Bob started laughing. <laughs> Being a human being here, I'm talking to you. As you're eating him. Uh, you're butt crying. <laughs> Bob got the last laugh. Lost it. Now he ain't losing. What? You idiots. I can shut him up. Shut up. I've been beating you stupid pricks. Tainting me. I'm tainting me. <laughs> Too late, y'all already ate it. <laughs> what the hell's gonna happen? Are we, we gonna turn? He's gonna die? Why the hell didn't you check him first? Because he was fine. Tainting me!
Was that some more all fours? These walkers kill me how they never make no noise until they magically next to you. Tyrese. The fact that two of them are dead and one is gone. What the fuck? I love them. Daryl and Carol are missing too. At least I still got Carol and Daryl. Oh! And Miss Cohen coming back. Oh, Carl. She finna be ready to kill Father Gabriel. What? What are you doing? He's Girl. shaking. I don't have anything to do with this. Oh you should have killed him. Wait. Do with this? Are our people? I don't have anything. Where are our people? I don't have anything to do with this. Why is your brains here? Please, I, 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 working with someone. You'll burn for this. That was for you. Why? What? What did you do? I miss him. I always lock the doors. I lock the doors at night. I always lock the doors at night. I always lock the doors. We know. And you keep them locked. They were trying to pry the shutters and banging on the sidings, screaming at me, and so. The dead came for them. Women. Children. Just an ancient ass nigga. Look at Carl looking. Entire families calling my name as they were torn apart. Damning me to hell. Begging me for mercy. Damning me to hell. I buried it all. Damn, that's a lot of digging. Rick Gunn and shot at everybody in southeastern United States. Rick sitting here like, I told y'all they don't get to live. We should have killed them at Terminus. Now you're going to tell her you got bit. He ought to be ashamed of his damn self. They make it look so real. Rick, like we lose another one. Glenn. I need to tally how many times I say Glenn in these look backs. How close, Gabriel? It's just a 10 minute walk through the woods from here to south of the graveyard. Damn, I said that in my head 10 minutes. I really have seen this shit too many times. Glenn always keeping the peace. That wasn't enough. Glenn and Maggie, too. Glenn and Maggie, too. No. no. Good luck, Dad. Well, Rick ain't leaving. I'm not interested in breaking up what you have here. Mm -hmm. You're not taking the bus. Tell him, Rick. You're not taking the bus. Rick and Abraham was about to throw down. Glenn keeping the peace. You stay and help us. And we will go with you. No, it's not your call. <laughs> I hate it when Glenn did this. And we will leave with you. Maggie backing up her husband. Wow. And that's crazy because even after they killed Gareth and them, which they knew was the threat, they still left without Carol and Daryl. I was so hurt when Glenn and Maggie left. Why didn't you tell me when it happened? Y'all, I have seen this shit too many times. We come all about the end. Sasha really did love Bob.
<laughs> Look how she's looking at him. I love her. He sure did lose Karen, but he didn't get a chance to say bye to Karen. Put it, his temple. That's what Bob would want. Bob really wouldn't want to turn. I mean, who wants to turn? Simon is still one of my favorite walkers to this day. That shit was so funny. He was like a vicious dog hanging on that wall at the sanctuary. I, to this day, don't understand how walkers can break glass. It's people that get in car accidents and get stuck in a car or like people that end up underwater in their car and try to bust the window open and it don't open. But somehow, just a hundred walkers slightly leaning up against the glass can break it. They knew Bob was going to say their location, so they plan is working out very nice. Except till Rick and them get back in the church and Rick shoot Garrett's fingers off. Look at them coming out of the woods. They think it's so sweet. They think this is really going to go their way. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to go your way. Goodness gracious. Carl know that ain't his daddy. <laughs> Look at my baby. Well, I guess you know we're here. No shit. We know you're right here. here. Let me eat my last little bit of food before they kill him. And we're armed. Duh. We know he's here. Gene. Cause he ain't gonna do shit. Rosita. She gonna fuck you up. Carl. Even the guard his with his wife. Stupidity is a gift of God, but no one mustn't misuse it. <laughs> Martin's just sick of gear of talking at this point. Ain't nobody behind the altar. Imagine if Father Gabriel would have tried to sell them out. They would have killed him before he had a chance to open the door. <laughs> On cue, Judith cries. Carl, like, really, girl? That's crazy to think about. Judith was around when Gareth was around. Like, what the fuck? That's your last chance right now to tell us you're coming out. Martin is so sick of Gareth. Raise your hand so we can shoot them fingers off. <laughs> Don't like that. Rick will fire in that office right now. They're going to say it. Put your guns on the floor and kneel. Do what he says. Fuck, we're caught. Y'all about to die today. Y'all about to die today. Yeah, there is. Get him, Abraham. I'm on a bet. <laughs> Abraham in the cut. Now, that's a scary sight. Ooh! This is getting good. Even though I've seen it 600 times. Michonne, Abraham, Sasha, and Rick went crazy. And Glenn and Maggie was like... No. <laughs> I should 
should not be laughing like this. Still, you could have killed us when you came in. There had to be a reason for that. We didn't want to waste the bullets. We didn't want to waste the bullets. <laughs> we used to help people. We saved people. It don't matter what you used to do. Things changed. They came in and... <laughs> The fact that Riggle and them say it's peace. You don't know what it is to be hungry. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. You don't have to do this. We can walk away. And we will never cross paths again. I promise you. Gareth, you wasted your second chance. I made you a promise. Besides. Look at the machete. Look at the machete. I already made you a promise. In the neck. Wind's like, whoa. Oh, yeah, and Tara, that was the other person. I couldn't think of their name. <laughs> Tyrese is literally looking like, Lord have mercy. It all happened so fast. Yeah. Uh-oh, you see the sword, boo? And you reunite. Hun, the sword only stayed apart for a few days. Yes, Rick. Father Gabriel, if it be sick. He need to wipe the machete off. Everybody is just in that after kill moment. Like, whoa, what did we just do? Rick going to check on his kids. He don't give a fuck about nothing else. Father Gabriel and we're like, this is the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. No, it ain't. It's four walls and a roof. Tell him, Maggie. It's just four walls and a roof. Legendary words. I fucking love this show. I have seen this 6,000 times. You'll always be with us. Part of us. He really was. At least everybody got to say they peace to Bob. I would say Bob is like one of the only people where everybody actually got to have a moment, say they peace, grieve, and do all of that before he died. Everybody else, they're usually getting killed in a moment. They fighting. There's a lot of shit going on or they getting attacked or just... So many people die like that. But that's crazy. I just want to say thank you. For what? I didn't know if there were any good people left. Right, he was out there drinking just to sleep. Bob was beyond depressed. Just look at her and tell me the world isn't going to change. It did. Judith out here kicking ass and taking names. So what is it? The good that comes out of this bad. Damn, she never got her answer. I forgot that part. He probably had a good answer for it too. I was I was never really attached to Tyrese like that, but I was sad when he died for Sasha. Like that was all she had left was her damn brother. Listen to the noise. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. It was like a little gushy, but not, but firm. Listen, listen. Rick didn't even get to have a funeral for Lori. At least you got that. Once Eugene gets to the big brains left up there, things are going to bounce back. This group should be there for it. They will be. Well. Y'all reunited eventually, but I was sad as fuck the first time I saw y'all get separated. The new world's gonna need Rick Grimes. Glenn, it was your idea. Don't look sad now. I'll never forget this scene right here. Look at Glenn and Maggie. 
Abraham, you didn't have to fucking leave. Bitch, you could have waited on Carol and Daryl. Y'all got rid of the threat. Y'all did not have to leave. We all could have got on the bus and Eugene wouldn't have rigged it. I'm hurt. I've seen this 6,000 times. Sorry I was an asshole. Come to Washington. Fuck, I love the show. I can't wait until they expand the series and do these backstories for these individual characters I love so much. I miss Glenn and Carl and Abraham. Why is Rick digging a different hole? Only one person died, and that was Bob. Did they bury all the Terminus people? Remember Father Gabriel was scrubbing the shit out that flow? We love Michelle being reunited with her sword. Oh, shit. Daryl gonna come back with, uh, what's the name? Can't sleep. Don't nobody give a fuck? I hear them. Yeah. That won't stop. Damn. I wonder if Michonne still hear that shit. Yes, go inside because you ain't going to be no help. Imagine being that type of person where you can just walk into the woods in a post-apocalyptic world and not be scared of a damn thing. I don't know if I'd ever be that person. Come on, Norman. Come on out. Where's Carol? She gonna try to figure out why he not smiling back at her. Where's Carol? At the hospital. Come on, no. come out. I was. <laughs> now I just knew they was gonna show us. Uh. <laughs> uh. I just knew they was gonna show us Tyler James Williams. Before this shit ended. I forgot that's how it ended. The next episode is Slab Town. And when I tell y'all, I fucking hated those episodes with Beth in the hospital. Just because it, the acting, production, you know, all of that. But the way that they treated Beth was so hard for me to watch. I Oh my fucking goodness. Remember Don slapped the shit out of her for no reason. That man kept trying to fuck on her. He tried to rape her. She had to kill the nigga in the office. When she tried to escape, her dumb ass got caught. He got free. Carol got fucked up. They hit her with a damn car. Woo, y'all. You know what? This next uh, this next episode, I'm finna be pissed off the whole episode. I'm, I'm finna let y'all know right now. But thank you all for watching. Another look back with me going down memory lane. I don't have the other half of season 10 until it airs February 23rd. So no fresh, fresh Walking Dead content until then. Oh yeah, everybody that's always asking me for food content, that's what my Patreon is for. That is linked below. Check out my online store for all of your delicious and healthy food needs. Um, And this is bad. Let me get to editing this video right now so I get this shit up for y'all.